okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fariha. I make videos about college, high school, life, TV shows, and everything in between. So today's video is going to be kind of like a life update and also me rating the women of The Bachelor because I am the kind of person who loves reality TV shows, Love Island, love it. I'm watching Love Island UK right now, season three, Montana is my queen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Survivor, like shows the circle, like all those reality TV shows, I'm obsessed. So I'm going to be rating the women on Matt James season. <laughs> but before we get to that, the life update. Oh, we're not back on campus. We're actually moving out. Fun stuff. I decided to stay home this semester. All my classes are online. COVID is really bad. So I'm in Austin to move all my stuff out, which really sucks. Guys, wow, I'm really sweaty. <sighs> Anyways, this is the empty room. When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just this is so sad, y'all. <laughs> Obviously still hook em horns. But I am going to be staying home for the semester. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but at the same time, staying home gives me more time to focus on extracurriculars. There's some really cool projects that I'm working on, and hopefully I can share those projects with you guys. Anyways, moving on to The Bachelor. So first of all, let me just say I love Matt James. He seems like such a genuine guy, and I don't know if y'all saw the, the quarantine crew on TikTok. My favorite. My favorite. Hype House Who? Soy House Who? I only know the quarantine crew. But no, it was like Tyler, Hannah Brown, a bunch of other people, and Matt James. And they were like living in a house together making videos. And since then I've loved Matt James because he's so funny. I'm going to go through the girls. If you ever see me looking down, it's because I pulled up all the girls and the cast on my computer so I can follow along and let's get started. First up is Abigail. Abigail got the first impression rose. She's the girl with the hearing issues and she seems really sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously she has a really interesting story so I could see her going pretty far. Then we have Anna. Anna's the, the blonde with the bubbly personality, great expressions, that's Anna. And I feel like she's definitely in these like next few episodes, she's gonna be kind of involved in the drama with the whole like Britney situation if you've been watching the promos. So I think she's gonna be around for a little bit longer, but honestly, I don't think she's one of the girls that's gonna have like an actual deep connection with Matt. Brie. I love Brie. She seems such a kind person. Like she's the kind of person you want to be friends with, you know? Like she seems like she knows what she's talking about. She's intelligent. She's composed. Like she's a proper woman, you know? And I think her and Matt obviously have a really cute relationship. And yeah, I definitely see her staying until like family visits at least. Okay, then we have Chelsea. She's the one with the cute Haircut, like she rocks that hair. Again, I think Matt was definitely like very intrigued by her when he saw her, but they haven't really had that much one-on-one -on -one time, even on like dates and stuff like that. So I definitely think she's gonna stick around, stick around for a little bit, but I don't see her being like one of the final girls. Jess, Jessina, Jessenia, Jessenia, Jessenia. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, Jasenia, she seems like really sweet and I feel like she's wifey material, honestly, like she is wifey material. <laughs> Kylie, honestly, Kylie, I'm surprised she's made it this far. Like obviously she looks so cute and like she's adorable. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the next rose ceremony, there's a good chance she might not get a rose. Katie, Katie is a queen. Okay, I didn't really like Katie at the beginning with the whole entrance and how she kind of like kept talking about her entrance again and again but after last week's situation with sarah and how mature katie was about it i literally had tears in my eyes when they were talking about their dad i really hope she goes far kayla kayla's really pretty i think she has a really nice smile but i don't know i feel like she's kind of like the chelsea situation where she's gonna get voted off in the next coming up weeks like kit i don't know why but like just something about kit doesn't sit 
bow with me. First of all, what kind of name is Kit? Like Kit Kat? Hello. I don't know. Like she, she seems too like, she's from New York, right? I can bet. Yeah, she's from New York. I was like, I can bet my life on the fact that she like is from New York. She just gives off that like typical New York, like socialite vibe. And I, I don't know. I don't think Matt's about that. Also, let me just say this season of The Bachelor has done such a good job of having a diverse cast. Like, I think they've, obviously there's always room for improvement, but I think it's a very good, well-rounded cast when it comes to diversity, which props to them. Mari. Okay, so Mari gives me like the typical like pageant girl vibes, if that makes sense. And when the show first started, I was like, I'm not gonna like her. She's gonna be like the mean, sassy girl, but she's really not. She's, obviously she has some sass in her, but like, I don't know, I like her. Can we talk about how literally all of these girls are marketing managers or directors? Like why is everyone doing marketing? <laughs> MJ, MJ's cool, MJ's really cool. I think she brings like a very different kind of vibe to The Bachelor and I like her. I feel like she's she's not afraid to stand up for herself or for other girls and like talk about situations when she thinks something's, something unjust is happening. I think she's again one of those like middle tier kind of characters. Piper, Piper, I really like Piper. I don't know why, but when I saw Piper, I just felt like that was Matt's type. I was like, oh, I feel like Piper and Matt will get along really well. And it kind of sucks that they haven't really had that much one-on-one -on -one time together, but I don't know. I just have a feeling that like down the line, Piper and Matt are gonna spend more time together and I feel like he's really gonna like her. Rachel, I love Rachel. Rachel is my girl. Rachel's my pick to win. I'm just gonna put that out there. I think her and Matt definitely have a real connection. And even though I'm surprised she hasn't gotten a one-on-one -on -one date with Matt yet, which I feel like it's coming, but I think every time her and Matt talk, it just feels like there's like sp sparks flying. I don't know why, like it just feels like they both have so much chemistry, I feel like, and she's just like the sweetest girl. Like I feel like she's, I love Rachel. I don't even know what to say. I think Rachel's gonna be, I think Rachel's gonna get engaged to Matt at the end of this, or I think she's gonna get the final rose. Like she is team Rachel. Sarah, I hated Sarah, I'm sorry, but the way she dragged, I mean, obviously the condition with her dad is serious. And obviously I understand like why it was kind of holding a cloud over her head. But at the same time, in a show like this, I feel like it's already so chaotic. You have to respect the parameters that have been set. So if Matt is going on a group date with these other girls, like, I don't think she has any right to bulge in to talk to Matt. I think if last week's episode hadn't ended with her going home, there would have been a lot of people that were upset about the whole situation because like she took over the entire episode and like she took over the whole like past few days with Matt, you know, like it just, if she hadn't gone home, it would have just not, yeah. Serena C. I like Serena C. I feel like a lot of the times she's shown as the girl who's complaining that she hasn't gotten time with Matt, which obviously isn't a good sign for her chances in the show, I guess. But I think she's a nice personality and yeah, I like her. Serena P. I didn't know that much about Serena P, but after their one-on-one -on -one date, I think Serena P and Matt get along really, really well. The whole donkeys thing, like that was really cute. Yeah, I really like her. She's so just like cheerful and bubbly. I think she's gonna do really good in the show, honestly. Victoria. I have very mixed feelings about Victoria because obviously a part of me is like, she is a bully. Like the whole situation that happened with her and Marilyn, was her name Marilyn? Yeah, with her and Marilyn. I mean, on camera, it didn't look like Marilyn had did anything that was so wrong. And she went to Matt and just completely twisted the story to make herself look like the victim when she was probably more to blame than Marilyn was, you know what I mean? So I think that situation, I hated Victoria. But these past few episodes, or like this past, I guess, one episode, I don't know, I do appreciate the fact that she does stand up for herself and she understands that a show like this is very much about strategy and like finding your time with Matt. But at the same time, like, I think she just needs to learn to keep her mouth shut. Like, just stop, just stop. And the whole queen, no, no, just period, no.
So yeah, now that were all the girls on The Bachelor this season. Obviously the new girls that are coming in. This episode I haven't looked at. Like I said again, my top pick to win is Rachel. I love her. I feel like Rachel, Brie, and Serena P. I feel like so far, based on the girls, these are the three girls that I would like put my money on to making it to like family visits. But I don't know, we'll see. Connections can happen, things can change. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the season. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the season so far, who you think might win your opinions on anyone that I talked about. And yeah, with that being said, that's all for this video. It's literally 12.30 right now. I don't know why I felt inclined to record this at literally like 12. So yeah, I am about to go to bed. Actually, that's not true. I'm probably gonna watch some Love Island and then go to bed. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that big red subscribe button if you want to see more videos. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want me to make. Like I said, I'm home this semester, so I will have, hopefully, fingers crossed, some more free time to work on content. And yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys later. <laughs> Peace.